we have to construct predictive parsing table for this graph. S is producing ABDH, V is producing CC, C is producing VC or epsilon, V is producing EF, E is producing G or epsilon, F is producing F or epsilon. Now, before constructing predictive parsing table, we sh shall find first and follow sets of these non terminal nodes. Now, we shall write first sets for those non terminals for which we can easily get. For F, this is F and epsilon. For E, this is G and epsilon. For D, it is depending on E and F. These first will be same as that of E. Each first is G and epsilon. So I am writing G here. If this G is replaced by epsilon, so it will be vanished. Now these first will be F. So F's first is F. So I am writing F here. If it is also replaced by epsilon, so G's first will be same as epsilon. So I am writing epsilon here. Here, C's first is B from this production. So I am writing B. And for this production, it is epsilon. So I am writing epsilon here. B's first is C here. So I am writing C here. Nothing else is there. And S, S first is A. So I am writing A. Follow of S. This is the start symbol. And the start symbol's first Sorry, star symbols follow is always dollar, so I am writing dollar here. And nowhere S is used, so follow of S will be dollar only. Now, we can see follow of B. Follow of B is same as first of B. First of B is G, F, G, F. G, F. If I replace this D with epsilon, so D will be vanished. So follow of if you can see here B D H. Okay. T can be replaced with this G. If I replace this G, then B's first will be B G H. G can D can be replaced with G or D can be replaced with F. Okay. So, follow of B will be G, I have written G here, follow of B will be F, I have written here. If this D can be replaced by epsilon, so what will happen? This D will be vanished. So, follow of B will be H, so I will write H here. Okay? Yes. Yes. Now, Follow of C. We can see from this production, follow of C will be same as that of B because this is the rightmost non terminal which has been produced by B. So C's follow will be G, H, and F. G, F, and H. Somewhere else, C is coming here. Yes. C is coming here, but which is produced by C, so no need to worry. Now, follow of D. We can see from here, follow of D is H in this production and somewhere else D is coming? No. So, follow of D is H. Now, follow of E. Follow of E is same as first of F. First of F is F or epsilon. F. If I replace this F by epsilon, then F will be vanished. Then E's follow will be same as that of D, which is H. So I am writing H here. And follow of F. Where is F coming? F is coming here. Follow of F will be same as that of D, which is H. So I am writing if we know first how to find first and follow sets, we can easily construct parsing table. Now, I will take these 
terminal symbols column wise what are the terminal symbols a c f g h a b c f g h a b c f g h and dollar we don't use epsilon here s b c d e and u i have only one choice a b d h so i can write as produces a b d h okay now for this uh, production i had only in first sets i have only one element which is a and i have filled that cell now for b i have c only so whenever i need c from b then i will use b produces c c here C is first is B. Whenever I need B, then I will take this B and this C is intersecting cell. This is intersecting cell. C is producing B C. I have written here. But in first, epsilon is also there. So I don't write epsilon in first. I will see follow there. I will see follow sets. In follow sets, G, F and H. I will write this production C produces epsilon. So in this cell G, G is here. I will write C produces epsilon. For F, I will write C produces epsilon. For H, I will write C produces epsilon. For these three, three follow sets, I will write this production C produces epsilon because it is producing epsilon. So I will write in these three cells C and F intersecting cell, G and C intersecting cell, H and C intersecting cell. Now B, we shall see what can be written here. G, F, in G and F, I have only one choice E and F. B produces EF, B produces EF, B produces EF and epsilon is also there. Epsilon is also there. We shall write that production in follow part. Where follow is H and we can see, we cannot directly write D produces epsilon because we don't have any expression where D produces epsilon. So we shall write when can we produce E, F as epsilon? When E is epsilon and F is epsilon. So I will write this E, F only. So here in H cell, I will write B produces E, F. Because I don't have epsilon production directly. So I can never write B produces epsilon. And in E cell, we shall see E produces G. G and E cells intersecting cell is here, E is producing G. And epsilon is also there. We shall see here F and H. In F, we shall write E is producing epsilon because E is producing directly epsilon here. So I will write epsilon here, E is producing epsilon and H. For H, I will write E is producing epsilon. Here, F is producing F. This F and this F, F is producing F here and this epsilon. Because of this epsilon, I have to write in cell H and F intersecting cell, F is producing epsilon. This is predictive parsing table. Now, these are the blank entries. 
these blank entries are known as blank spaces or blank entries are errors. Now we shall take one uh, string, we shall try to parse that string. We shall see how to parse that string. Now I don't need this uh, first and follow set here. I have uh, constructed this predictive parsing table. Now we shall try to parse this string ACBGH dollar. Dollar is indicating that this is the end of the string. Now we know this is our string in which at bottom there is dollar and, and above that dollar we have star symbol S. Now we shall see we want to find we have to parse this string which is starting with it. Now, we have star symbol and we have to find A. How can we find? If we replace this S with A, B, D, H of this S, then we have to replace A, B, D and H. At top, we are getting A. We shall pop it and this A has been matched. Because we had A here, this A is matching, so this pointer is moving in the right direction and this A has been popped. Now, we want to find C and we have symbol B, B and C. In this cell, we shall see B and C's intersecting cell is C. I will replace this B, I will pop this B and I will replace it. C, C. I have to find C and I am getting C here. So C and C has been matched. I am popping this and pointer is moving in the right direction. Using this C, I have to produce B. B and C cell. B can be produced if C is replaced with B C. Pop it, replace it with this is capital C. B is there, B is here. B and B is matched. So, of B from here and pointer is moving in right direction. Using C, G, you, you have to find G using C. G in C, you can see. It means C has to be replaced with epsilon. It means you have to pop it. Okay. At top you are getting D. Using D you have to find G. D and G. You have to replace this D with E F. So pop this D and replace it with E F. You, are, you want to find G and you have E here. E and G. Yes. E and G you can replace E by G, pop E and replace G. You are getting G here, that is matching. So, pop G from here and pointer will be moved in right direction. H. At top you have F and you want to find H. H is here and F is here. H and F. It means you have to Replace F by epsilon. It means pop it. You have H at top and you wanted H. H and H is matching, so pop it. And move the font, uh, pointer in the right direction. Dollar and dollar, which is matching. It means this is the end of the string. It is indicating that 
this string has been matched successfully. Actually, this grammar is LL1 grammar. This type of grammars are known as LL1 grammars. This L is indicating left to right scanning. And this L is indicating leftmost reanimation. And this one means only one symbol at a time, so number of look ahead. We are taking decision. We are taking one symbol and making some decision which production we have to use here. So we shall we, we can see here there are only one entries in each cell, no double entries there, and some cells are empty. And those empty cells can be filled with errors. So, this grammar is LL1 grammar. Yes, this is LL1 grammar.